Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why he came back. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Rest Your Dark. It's your girl Brenda. I'm gonna talk about one of the world's most misunderstood, confusing way of graffitiing yarn bombing. So the yarn bombing seems to have started back in like 2005 in in Texas. The movement may have started with a one woman named Agda Sayeg. She is a knitter. Uh, it's basically all it is is just knitting. You're knitting and putting it on stuff. She said that she got the idea from taking like her knitted doilies or whatever and putting it on people's door handles or something. I don't know. The, the, there have been art installations of the thing, but let me tell you about something that I know about personally in my own personal 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 experiences I never did it <laughs> but I knew that it was a fireable offense if you work at Michael's <laughs> back in the day maybe 2011 2012 or something when I used to work at Michael's Arts and Crafts this was the time where I was going to college making some extra cash I was making a little a little dough a little dough a little dough, just a very minimum wage. Minimum wage. <laughs> I was working in the warehouse part on mostly on Thursday mornings, uh, doing stuff that nobody wanted to do. And uh, the one time that I actually came out and looked on the floor to see what was going on, uh, apparently one of the poles next to the cash registers was yarn bombed because it was circulating pictures like on Facebook and Twitter and whatever that somebody had yarn bombed the store turns out it was a manager <laughs> our district manager called the store and said whoever yarn bombed needs to take it down immediately or else face termination and I was just like what why is this so serious um, Apparently, it's very serious. It's considered graffiti. If I was to see that on the street, I'd be like, what the, who's littering? Who took their, their grandmother's sweater? Something that's... So, she, she knitted it. She knitted this sweater for you specifically on Christmas for a year straight just for you to throw it outside and it land on a tree. That's littering. That's a litter. There are some people that yarn bomb where they'll take like old coats or something like that and uh, they will put them on light poles, like the, the telephone poles. They would take like coats and sweaters and, and scarves and they'll wrap them around telephone poles so the uh, homeless could get to them, but 90% of the time... Now what I described was something that uh, people do as far as like charity and stuff but 90% of the time when people yarn bomb they're doing it because they are showing off what they can do now there are people who have done for charity and at the same time yarn bombed <laughs> um, I'm not talking about those people I am I'm more or less talking about <laughs> People just like making sweaters for trees. Um, <laughs> why? Why would you do that? So, <laughs> um, not only that, I think that's like the most adorable grandma thing to do. Oh, I'm trying to be hip and cool, so let me put a sweater on a tree. <laughs> that's what I think about, but it's really like, you know, 20 something year olds, 30 something year olds who just have nothing to do all day. <laughs> They just yarn bomb. So, <laughs> um, there, there has been issues with doing it. Like, you're not, like, if you're gonna do it, don't do it on a living tree. Like, that, and also, yeah, it's technically littering because you're just leaving it there and then it rains and then it gets soggy and gross and moldy and then somebody has to take it down and it's not gonna be you because you put it up there because that's your baby. That's your art. That is your passion. Isn't it? It's an environmental concern because like the yarn that people use, a lot of the time it's just like plastic or polyester or mixed blends of non-degradable things uh, to make the yarn. So if it's cotton, maybe 
but still that's littering because it, it cotton takes a while to dissolve just like all those other uh, non decomposing fabric yarn things I don't know what I'm saying anymore there have been a couple of books actually about yarn bombing you want to look them up or see them I'm going to post like a bunch of pictures during the video so you can see what I'm talking about in post-production but there is a book uh, there's actually two books from what I see in September of 2009 <laughs> yarn bombing colon <laughs> the arts of crochet and knit graffiti <laughs> Uh, by Leanne Prane and Mandy Moore. Now I'm not entirely sure if it's the same Mandy Moore, but I will find that out and make sure of it in post-production right here. I don't remember her songs. But she had some hits. I remember dancing to them in like dance class and I had like this evil dance teacher. She taught jazz and like hip-hop and whatever and she made us look like sexy eight-year-olds. <laughs> Oh, in 2006, a London-based eye knit partnered with WaterAid on Knit a River. Basically, the project was just like, oh, there's like a place with like no water or water or something. I don't know. And uh, they made a giant river of yarn. <laughs> so, so they yarn bombed like a whole building or something. I guess was it the water plant? You could, I couldn't even tell you. But seen on the internet on the interwebs, people yarn bombing Albert Einstein. There's like a giant statue. Like there's a giant statue of Albert Einstein just like graffitied with yarn. Uh, ooh, my eyebrow is itchy and I can't scratch it because it rubs away my eyebrow. Ooh, patch your weave, pat, pat, your eyebrows. It's so itchy. Why are you so itchy? Maybe I need to like <laughs> change my makeup because <laughs> I haven't for like the past, I don't know how long. I don't draw my eyebrows on every day so I have like a little palette of like eyebrow powder. Well, anyway, done talking about that. Yarn bombing is hilarious to me. It's like the clown of graffiti. It is grandma graffiti. It is just, it just, it's just hilarious. Honestly, it's hilarious. Like. <laughs> the fact that that's harder than real graffiti, like, <laughs> yeah, have you seen graffiti? Like, it's actually super de duper hard. Like, doing graffiti is hard by itself, but then there's these grandmas that's just like one upping them. It's like, you little whipper snappers, <laughs> you can't do what we do. <laughs> and their fingers and knitting, knitting, bro. They're knitting graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? The art community is actually hilarious. It's just what you find. Anyway, I, I don't have much else to talk about this. I, I switch it up every other week. So last week was creepy and weird and I was talking about porcelain dolls. And this week I'm talking about something utterly ridiculous. So come back next week for rest of the week. Uh, Wednesday for whiteboard Wednesday and Fridays for Fun Fact Friday. Today was Fun Fact Fridays. Fun Fact Friday yarn and yarn bombing. And ah! <laughs> y'all gonna come back or no? Y'all y'all gonna subscribe or no? You wanna hit that notification bell or no? Like what you what you gonna do? What you what you gonna do? What you ain't gonna do? What?